Hey, good afternoon, beautiful people. This is Samson Williams from Axes and Eggs. Uh, last week, uh, I went to Mauritius to the Mauritius Blockchain Conference, um, which was amazing. Uh, Mauritius is a jumping off point uh, for many businesses going into Sub-Saharan Africa. So if you want to go into Sub-Saharan Africa uh, to do blockchain business or traditional businesses, let's talk about what we can do in Mauritius. Uh, the president came out. He has a really good vision for a blockchain and fintech in general in Mauritius. So that was really cool. I'll talk about that a little bit more later. Uh, on my way to Mauritius, I saw I got an email. It was really funny. And so I posted on LinkedIn, when you can't master email, but you want me to read your white paper, you probably work for. It was really funny because uh, it actually came, it wasn't from Deloitte, but a few people read it. So we had some dialogue and somewhere in these comments, uh, Anthony Day, the CEO of Deloitte Ireland, commented back and was like, hey, my bad. Um, and some, somehow or another, we decided we were going to do something October 15th uh, in Ireland at their Ireland offices, provided and provided I read their white paper so we could discuss it. So I'm going to give you a quick overview of the Deloitte white paper. First off, telling you, do you guys know Deloitte had a white paper about blockchain and finance? I didn't know either until the, the that I got that spam email. So is it ridiculous ambitious? I don't think so. I think blockchain is just ridiculously disruptive and people need to wrap their head around it. They go through some blockchain basics because I'm a shameless promoter. I'm going to tell you that you can actually read this article here that wrote that blockchain isn't hot sauce. You can't put that shit on everything. And that's actually basically what they say here. They're like, oh, that's what blockchain is. Um, so keep that in mind. They do have a checklist of things that you should know about and introduce this concept of business blockchains. And basically, they're standalone solutions. So that's interesting. Business blockchains at first didn't make sense to me. I was like, why are they introducing a new term? But later on this, it does make sense. There's lots of frequently asked questions, which are basic questions that most folks in the finance industry would be asking about this new novel and disruptive technology. So I'll give you guys a chance to read them. And as you read them, if you think of any hard questions you want me to ask Anthony, email them to me. S-A-M-S-O-N at axesandeggs.com. I'll drop my email below. That way on October 15th, when we're having our town hall or a conversation over our hot wings, I can ambush him with your hard questions. But I won't tell him that ahead of time. Um, accessing, assessing blockchain opportunities. I'll let you guys read, read in that. They break it down. Again, blockchain is not hot sauce. It's not a cure-all. Um, but there are some applications for it. They give us a really good list for finance. Because when I read this and I said how 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 blockchain could in fact could affect finance, I always think how blockchain could affect could affect healthcare. Uh, in the United States, we spend about three hundred eighty billion dollars a year just on healthcare administration, not actually touching paper patients, just shuffling paper. So tons of applications for blockchain and healthcare administration, as well as medical research. Shout out to Sean Mannion. Uh, what is it? Better science, cheaper research, faster miracles, science distributed.com. Uh, the anatomy of a blockchain business. I love this graph. You guys should take a few moments to study it. I'm actually going to steal this. Or rather, I care about this. Deloitte did a really good job of laying this out. It seems very similar to Settlement. Big shout out to Settlement.com. They're a middleware business that builds blockchain applications for your business. I like this a lot. I'm going to care about it. And when I say care, I mean copy and rip off everything. So at the bottom here, there are alternatives. We're not going to get into that because you can read. Um, this is where they introduce public blockchains and commercial cryptocurrencies. One of my favorite applications for commercial cryptocurrencies or commercial tokens is when Amazon or any of the other big companies issues their own token. Uh, the long story of that is because they no longer use fiat or dollars and they only use tokens, what do they pay taxes in? So what to think about blockchain today? You should think about it like the cell phone. Your cell phones, when you first got them, they were big and chunky and you could only talk on them. Now they fit in the palm of your hand and have the history of the world in it. And most people only use it to, you know take selfies and be on Snapchat. So in five years or 10 years, blockchain will be like Wi-Fi. I can explain it to you how it works. No one cares. They just want to know what the password is. Blockchain, it's sexy now, but in five years, no one's going to care about it. you have a blockchain-based product. They're just going to assume everything is going that way. Here's a checklist. Check it out. 
Most importantly, find you some influencers, some evangelists, some skeptics. Learn yourself. Um, hopefully, you can follow us along. Hopefully, some of you can come out October 15th to whatever event we're putting on at Deloitte. And in the meantime, I will share this link with you um, so you can download this white paper and read it for yourself. Here are the Irish contacts. I know they're just super excited to get a bunch of emails um, from random people soliciting them for uh, soliciting our who want to share their ICO ideas. They actually don't, but you know, send it to them anyhow. See how it happens. So that's it. My name is Samson Williams. When you get a chance, uh, take a few minutes to read their the Deloitte white paper. It's actually not such a heavy read. It's more of an overview of what the current state of blockchain is. That's it. Talk to you guys later. If you have any questions, drop them below in the comments. Peace.